Hello everyone, my name is Fleet, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at the top 5 bots which you can use in your Discord server. But before we begin, make sure you've liked and subscribed to the channel, as it supports me a bunch when making these videos for you guys. As always, look out for the animal and comment it down below for the chance of getting a shout out. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, so, the first bot I'm going to mention is YagPDB. The bot is really useful, and it gives a bunch of different commands and tools which you can use in the server. The most popular I would say is the assigned roles, and you can use the website and some commands in the server to easily set this up. If you want a video on how to set up roles in your server, be sure to comment it down below. As you can see, there are a bunch more features which you can use, such as moderation and server logging, and also verification, so the bot can do quite a lot. It also has some fun commands which are especially useful to make both conversations and also to light up chat as people are able to interact. They have things like a would you rather command as well as a topic starter command so you can never run out of conversation. The bot is that good, we even used it in our own server and I'm telling you right now, you're missing out if you haven't already joined. So click the invite down below. The second bot I'm going to talk about is Rhythm. And I would say, from personal experience, it's the best and highest quality music bot out there. It's also user friendly, which is brilliant for those who might be new or maybe struggle setting up bots, as the instructions are pretty simple to follow. There are like a bunch of bots such as Groovy or maybe Fredbot, but I feel like with Rhythm's quality, it's a pretty good bot overall. And let's be honest, people aren't going to want to listen to music when the quality is really bad, or that they can't find a song they want to play. So in my opinion, just add rhythm. If you also happen to have people who want to listen to different songs in different voice channels, you can add rhythm too. So having the same bot is a lot easier, rather than having two different music bots. So it's just likely to benefit you in the future. Number three would be Me6. Now, Me6 is a bot which is used widely around Discord servers. And to be honest, it's a bit like Marmite. You either love it or hate it. Personally, I don't use Me6, but instead I use Dino, which I'll be coming on shortly, but it does have some pretty cool features. You are able to make a custom welcome message, as well as give some auto roles when people join the server. It's got a good moderation feature, which can do quite a lot of things, as well as a leveling system, which can give you roles and rewards when a user reaches a certain level. You can also add notifications when a user posts a tweet and also YouTube videos, which might be useful if your server is based around your channel. Also, as Me6 is widely used, a lot of people know how to use the bot, which is going to benefit your members and you in the future, as you won't be telling people about how to use certain commands, and also how to use the bot generally. Okay, so the fourth bot is Dinobot. It's fairly similar to Me6, but instead, I feel it's a lot more reliable, and it has some cool features which I feel are useful in server moderation. It might not be the greatest bot for those new to Discord, as it isn't that user friendly, but with some practice you can easily find your way around the bot settings. I feel Dino is way better than Me6, as I know Dino picks up on some of the features Me6 doesn't have, such as a server log, which is, which is probably the most important for server management. Having a bot which can do multiple things makes it a lot easier, as you can work on one panel rather than just switching between multiple when adding different features. Also, people prefer servers with less bots, which provide the same features, as you want your server to look pleasing to the eye, rather than just filling it with hundreds of bots. The final bot which I would add to your server would be Dank Mima. It's a bot which everyone loves, and it has a load of features which will entertain your members for hours. There are features such as memes, currency, animal pictures, and as well as some games like trivia. It's the most popular bot, and a lot of people ask if the bot's in the server, but there might be a few settings you might want to change if you decide to make the server public. These are things like making the bot passive, so that no one is able to take currency, which can be a big problem with people joining servers just trying to steal currency from members, and afterwards just leaving, and it sucks, as a lot of people work hard to get those credits, and it's a shame when people just take them. You're likely to also just see that member leave, which probably isn't that good for your server. So I hope you guys get a rough idea on some of the best bots which you can add to your Discord server. If you do want to see some videos on how to set up specific bots, let me know down in the comments below. 
The shout out in today's video goes to Master Ugwe. He posts some pretty cool content, and you guys should check out some of it, and drop him a sub to help him out. I'll leave all the invites to the bots in the description below, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Adios. Thank you.